Hello everyone and welcome back to Inside Japan. This is Derek and I wanted to take a look at one of my favorite Japanese foods, okonomiyaki. I shot this footage at a nearby restaurant called Udonya, which is located outside of Utsunomiya. The main ingredients are cabbage, flour, and egg, and as the name suggests, whatever toppings you like. The most common toppings are pork, octopus, shrimp, seafood mix, and kimchi. You should probably expect to pay between $7 and $15, depending on the topping and portion size. Okonomiyaki is sometimes translated as a Japanese pancake or Japanese pizza. But as it lacks the texture and sweetness of a pancake, and lacks everything I associate with a pizza, I simply call it okonomiyaki. It is known as a food from Western Japan, and has two different cooking styles. We will be looking at Kansai style today, where ingredients are mixed and cooked together. Hiroshima style involves cooking things separately and combining them later in layers. Once the ingredients are mixed, they are heated on a large iron griddle, called a tepan, until firm, and then flipped, which takes about 20 minutes or so to cook. Some restaurants have you prepare the dish yourself, while some bring the cooked dish out to you and place it on your hot table, which continues to cook it while you eat. Finishing touches include a sweet brown okonomiyaki sauce, zigzag lines of mayonnaise, green onions or seaweed, and thin shavings of dried fish called katsuobushi, which are so thin that they dance on the dish as if alive due to the heat. I'm not a big seafood guy, so I usually choose pork as my topping and skip the fish shavings and seaweed. I always ask for the version covered with noodles whenever available, as the crisp cooked noodles add a nice texture contrast I have come to know and love. Your table should have a metal spatula to break the dish up, chopsticks to eat with, and additional toppings to flavor the food to your taste. If you aren't in Japan and have no access to an okonomiyaki restaurant near you, as the recipe is fairly simple, you can even try making it at home in a frying pan. Thanks for joining us, and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure to like and subscribe. This has been Inside Japan.